Hey everyone, and thanks for watching WNY's Buffalo Bills Red Zone. Jenna Katra alongside. I'm Dan Fates. The NFL season, well, it's rolled into October as wow. the two and one Buffalo Bills welcome in the one and two New York Giants. But let's get right to it. Jenna, what did you take away from last week's big blowout win in Miami? Obviously an impressive win against the Dolphins last week. Everything was really working for the Bills. But my one takeaway is how good is this Bills team? You know, they beat up on a not so great indie team. We're now realizing That's right. Yep. How bad are the Dolphins? But right. then also how good, like, I feel like they've played teams that are really the opposite ends of the spectrum. Absolutely. So I feel like coming into this week, maybe the Giants are a little bit closer to the not so great <laughs> side of the spectrum, but I think it'll be a good indicator of well, where the Bills match up. And I think one of the things that has been working for the Bills on the defensive side of the ball is obviously they're top ranked in the league against the run. That is Absolutely. impressive. But on the other side of that, is their pass rush. It's their second worst in the league. So it's really two ends of that spectrum. Yeah, I think you, you hit it right, you know, the nail on the head there. Talking about what team's going to show up. Consistency, I think, is what we want to yeah. see out of the Bills. You know, it's been an up and down roller coaster. You win one, you lose one. Now, now you win one. What a big success was last week was the offensive line. They mm -hmm. stepped up in a big way. Yeah. Zero sacks for Tyrod Taylor. And the Giants this week have no, <laughs> no, absolutely no <laughs> pass rush so that's not gonna be a problem again and what it does is you're seeing that when Tyrod stands up straight and mm -hmm. he's well protected he's gonna do very well 21 of 29 for 277 yards and three scores so Tyrod looked great last week yeah injuries are they Ooh. concerning you a little bit Jenna I yeah I would absolutely say so because I think the fact that you know it's a lot of stress on this offense just because I mean you need to have a double team on Sammy Watkins. I feel like every time he's one of those receivers that you need to have that hasn't exactly had the best start to the season, but still, I think people are going to look at Robert Woods and say, ah, we don't really, we don't really need that. I, he can be on man coverage. Right. I, I agree, but they've won and had a very good offense. Technically, the third best scoring offense. They're one of three teams that already score 100 points. And LaShawn and Sammy yeah, they haven't, haven't really, really done a whole lot. So maybe it's not that big of a deal. All right, so heading into the Giants coming into town, what are the key matchups for you? I just think in general, Odell Beckham Jr. I mean, he is so exciting Absolutely. to watch. Such a dynamic player. I think it's really going to depend. You know, it's, it's got a little confidence booster, obviously, having Ronald Darby be named the, you know, rookie of the month. I mean, yeah. that's huge on, on any team. So He's been dominant. He has been dominant. I think that'll really be a huge matchup. But Yeah, my matchup, I'm actually going to go off the field. Again, we talked about it before with week two. The Patriots came off oh. of 10 days rest. The Giants are coming off of 10 days rest. Tom Coughlin, although he seems to always be in the hot seat the first four <laughs> games of, this, of every year, he is probably a Hall of Fame coach, and he's going to have 10 days to prepare. You can say it over and over again. NFL teams, three extra days is huge. They've had the extra rest. Also, you know, when they came back home and they were 1-0 and taking on the Patriots, the Bills were too hyped up. Yeah. You know, they were penalties. They couldn't control their emotions. I'm more worried about that side. You know, the crowd's going to be looking to go three yeah. and one. Mm -hmm. They should win this game. They're a five and a half point favorite. Yeah. But can they keep their emotions in check? With that being said, let's get right to our picks. As of right now, uh, three and oh, after we both picked the Bills last week, Jenna is two and one. Yes, Jenna, who do you got this whatever. week and why? I feel like, okay, I, I really do feel like this game will be interesting because I feel like the Giants will play to whoever they are playing. You know, they could have easily started the season at 3-0. So I think that this game will be close. I think in the end, though, I mean, like you said, Buffalo is the favorite going into this game. They're better on paper. They should get the win. And I should also get a W in one of my columns. So. Yeah, I, you need one. I, hey. I'm still ahead of you. I'm too also, hey, Jenna, I'm on board with you, too. I got the Bills. They have a better offense. They have a better defense. Yeah. Their coach should have them prepared this week. I think they win comfortably. I think they cruise to a nice 30 to 13 win. They cruise? No uh, pun intended, no, Victor no Cruz. <laughs> and also, the funny thing is, though, is that the Giants are a better team than what may look on paper. They've yes. had double digit leads going into the fourth quarter of every game yeah. so far this season. I think the Bills know that. I don't think they're going to take them lightly. I got them winning, like I said, 30 to 13. So we're both on board with the Bills. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But as of right now, that's all the time we have for sports. For Jenna Cottrell, I'm Dan Fates. Enjoy the football.